Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I've got Happy Mail. Um, this is a box from Debbie, and she is um, a gal that I know through Facebook, and um, she watches my videos here on YouTube, and um, I don't believe she has a YouTube channel. Um, Debbie, if you do, please um, uh, tell me in the messages down below, because I would love to see it. Um, but um, Anyhow, she had contacted me through Facebook and said that she wanted to send me something. And so here it is. So I cut it open, but I haven't looked at the contents yet. So let's open this up. Oh, and she's got a letter in here. So let me look at this real quick. Um, she says it's the first time she's ever sent... She goes, what I think the crafting community calls happy mail. Yes, this would definitely be happy mail. I can tell just by looking at these goodies that it's making me very happy. Um, let's see here. She's, um, she is crafty, but it looks like, um, oh, wow, she does basket weaving. That's cool. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh, Debbie, I, yeah, it's, whatever you want to send someone is happy mail. It doesn't have to fit any kind of theme or anything, just whatever you think that person would want or could use. Um, this is so awesome. I mean, you didn't have to do this, and you sent this to me, and I'm just really grateful. Like I said, I've met some really wonderful people um, through YouTube and Facebook that, you know, there's not very many crafters that I can, you know, hook up with in my own neck of the woods. So, um, you know, it's nice to be able to have a community that um, no matter where I move or where I go, I can take my friends with me. So, um, anyhow, let's start with this envelope that she put in here. And it's all kinds of stuff. Oh, I see these guys. Oh, she put some really cool... Look at this. Really cool canning jar images. Oh, neat. She knows I like to can, and um, I'm going to be doing more of that this year. And I love, love this huge image. That is so cool. I'll have to put that on a layout. And these are nice, too, because you can cut a little window in them or you can stamp in them. So cute. Thank you, Debbie. And then, oh my, <laughs> Hello Kitty. Everybody loves Hello Kitty. She is so cute. Look at that. That is cool. That is perfect for my smash book. And she's got some cute little note paper with a little um, goldfinch on it. Sitting on foxglove or something. That is so cute. Oh, and look at these. Little stamps and stuff. This would be great. I just saw a woodpecker. I don't think he was an ivory build woodpecker, but he had the big top knot, you know, like Woody Woodpecker has um, the other day. And I saw a bear not too long ago, and yeah, this will be great. What a cute little accent to, you know, add to a scrapbook page or to my wildlife um, smash book. Oops, and here's another um, canning jar. And... She said she sent some old um, ephemera, some old maps. These are cool. She knows I'm here in Oregon. And these are... These are really nice maps. Oregon High. See, that's kind of nice when you can get stuff like this that, you know, you can draw uh, your trip route or, um, you know, cut out a section for a layout or use as layering in your background um, on a travel journal. Or, you know, I'm going to be doing some more travel journal stuff, and I definitely can use this. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, because this would be great for layering, and look at all the colors and stuff. So that'll be fun. It's nice to have these that you don't feel bad, you know, cutting them up. That's what they're there for and stuff. Now, she said she did took basket weaving and that she made this basket. She said she hasn't been doing it lately. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this. It's a cute little basket you just hang on the wall. Oh my gosh, Debbie, this is like, this is professional quality. I mean, seriously. 
you you shouldn't stop doing basket weaving because this is really good. Look at that. Be great to um, hang on the wall and put some flowers in, or you could even put. Um, I keep a lot of uh, like silk flowers that I can take apart for um, scrapbooking and, and crafting and stuff, and put a bunch of silk flowers in there to use. That's gorgeous, Debbie. That is awesome. That's some real talent right there. You should keep doing um, basket weaving. And then some little tape. Oh, cute. I love these little rolls from Studio 112 because you don't need quite so much washi tape on a roll because it takes a while to, to go through it. These are like the perfect size, and I love that nice fluorescent orange. All the fluorescents are so um, popular right now. And this one, too. Oh, this is really pretty. It's like a, a chocolate brown chevron. I don't have any, I don't think I even have anything chocolate brown, so that's really cool especially for woodland um, layouts and stuff like this. And then there's some K and Company um, die cut and vellum pieces and they're all the woodland so I can definitely 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 use these really pretty images. And I like that some of them are in vellum too. That's neat. Okay, let's see here. Then there's, um, I've never seen this brand what cute little, okay, so it's got little rocking horses and rubber duckies and little handprints, so it's um, it's baby-themed, and it does have some yellow and stuff in there, or you could re-ink it, because my niece just had a boy, and um, uh, my stepson's wife is, they are expecting their first child, so um, yeah, this is great. So, yeah, I'm going to be needing that. All the kids are talking baby, baby, baby. So <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to be a grandma. I know it. And um, some nice die cuts. Let's see. Let's open this. Extra little die cuts to use. If I can get it open. It's got, like, little doily cuts. I love the little watering cans. And there's butterflies and hearts, and it looks like birds, all kinds. So great for a garden mini. That would be perfect. And I'm thinking of getting Saw, Saw Crafters has come out with some new mini album kits. And I've been looking at her um, Garden Gate um, mini because I, I want to do one on my garden because... Um, uh, I, my husband and I are going to be moving, so um, I'm going to have to leave my garden behind. And I've worked it for many, many years, so it's really hard. So I think I want to do a mini album and stuff and a walk through and stuff before we go. So anyhow, if I have time, you know, packing. And yeah, this is that David Tutera. I've never seen this brand. These are cool. These kind of uh, matte silver clocks and the craft and it looks like black and cream uh, stopwatches and clocks. That is really cool. And then these are cards. Excellent. And it looks like it's got black, dark brown, white, and craft. Really nice selection. Oh, these are awesome. I need to make a new one for my mom-in-law and so I can definitely use those. Ooh, and look at these ones. They're like embossed already with uh, cool patterns and stuff. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Oh, my, and here's more. Okay, and then it's got the pink ones with all the dots, and it's got a bunch of different um, kind of pastel -y colors. And then this one has the more chocolate and pink and uh, teal tones. Oh, oh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much, Debbie. Ah. Oh, and look at this. Okay. These are cool. Okay, so this you could put your, looks like it's a CD holder. And wouldn't that make a cute mini album? Because you could like put these together and then bind it all and these would be like your signatures. Hmm, I'm getting all kinds of ideas here. And then you could make tags and uh, mats for pullouts and stuff. 
That would be really cool. Oh, thank you, Debbie. You're giving me all kinds of ideas here. Let me set these over here. And she sent me a configurations box. Okay, I've always wanted to try one of these, um, but I've never had one, so this is really cool. Okay, so this comes out. And then there's um, a little piece of uh, the plastic insert. I see they've got it coated with plastic so you don't scratch it. And then these you can change around and change your dimensions and stuff. I'm going to have to try this. Not sure what I'm going to put in here. But that's cool that you can change all the box dimensions around. So, hmm. Okay, I'm getting all kinds of ideas here. This is really cool. I've never gotten to try one of these. It's really good quality. I'm surprised that um, the, the cardboard is really heavy duty and it's very well put together. That is nice. And then there's some corrugated cardboard in here. I always love this stuff. Love it for smash books. I love to mount um, mount pages and stuff on them or have them peeking out from behind some torn paper or something like that. So I can definitely use that. So, Debbie, this was so awesome. I mean, you didn't have to do this, and you did. And it was just so sweet. And she knows that you know, we had, my husband and I had car trouble over the weekend, and we spent a whole day, it took us about five hours to fix the car. We had to, like, drop the gas tank out and put a new fuel pump in, and it was just, so it's just been a hard week and, and a hard weekend, and it, you really made me happy when I, I knew this was going to be there at the post office, so I was really excited all day to be able to open it. So thank you so, so much, and um, hopefully if she's got a channel, she'll link it below. But otherwise, Debbie, thank you, and I will go and PM you now that I got your package and everything arrived um, safe and sound. Thank you. Bye-bye.